the one thing that you're going to see also is sleeve protrusion. You don't see any sleeve protrusion on an iron block. Uh, you probably could if you sleeved all eight holes and you left the sleeves up, uh, but you'd have to only do that on a copper head gasket. Because if this sleeve right here is literally, the protrusion means that the, this sleeve surface right here is actually above the deck surface, like that. So pretend my finger is the deck surface, it's actually up. I put them up anywhere from three to five thousandths higher than what the deck surface is. So on an iron block, especially if you're going to use a comedic style head gasket, multi-layer steel or anything like that, you definitely don't want to have any sleeve protrusion. You just want to have these sleeves installed, just like where we are here. Then we put it back up in the machine, we resurface this, make everything pinch down perfectly tight, or perfectly flat, and then uh, this sleeve has been pressed all the way down to the bottom register when the head gasket comes on and the head comes on, it comes down and clamps everything together. In these sleeves, doing the exact same thing, but we're leaving this slightly up. So we leave this up five thousandths of an inch. So on this block, on my SMX stuff, these sleeves are actually sticking above the deck surface five thousandths. Probably can't see that on the camera, but they're all sticking up five thousandths. That's the way we machine the block. This is why we do these sleeves. Now on these sleeves too, these have uh, less than half a thousandths of press, so I can actually pull these sleeves out and put new sleeves in just like a top fuel car or something like that. So we'll replace the sleeve and piston rod assembly if we ever had to, uh, just like the top fuel cars do, and don't have to worry about this sleeve, changing the sleeve and making this one out of round and this one out of round because the block is so sturdy, so thick through this area, and we don't have any press per se in here just very very minimal just to make sure that we get good surface contact and that's it now back to this protrusion thing so these are five thousandths up when you put a copper head gasket on the surface these sleeves with the o-ring this is our smx hoop program so the receiver groove is in the top of the sleeve we have the o-ring the stainless steel one piece hoop that's in the head and that goes down the sleeve, the O-ring goes into, the SMX hoop goes into the receiver groove, pinches all together, and this 5,000 extra protrusion just kind of burnells and digs itself into the gasket. That's why you can't do this with a, uh, a multi-layer steel. You can only do this with copper. So everything, the copper just kind of forms to it and molds into it along with that stainless steel uh, SMX hoop. So this is what we found this is uh, still current technology in uh, top fuel stuff pro most pro mod stuff this is the way I prefer to do it uh, since we don't run any water up here even though this is fully water jacketed block and heads for the SMX uh, I don't even put any sealant on it because you don't need to but if you were doing this on something else uh, like a Brodix block or a dart block something that was a cast piece that had sleeve protrusion uh, we just put sealant all the way around to seal up the head gasket but this will brunel dig right into that head gasket the other thing that you're going to want to do on when especially if it has sleeve protrusion is heat cycle it do a retorque do a retorque again after it heat cycles haven't found too many problems with uh, retorquing things a lot uh, it really doesn't matter heat cycle it retorque it heat cycle it retorque it it's going to be fine but that's on copper with something that has a protrusion with a sleeve sticking up. So here are your, those are your three main sleeve ways of doing things. This is obviously the billet, uh, best way of doing it in my opinion. Uh, this is the normal repair sleeve. So most of you guys, if you have a broken block, you crack the cylinder or something, they're gonna put a sleeve in just like this. Make sure the register's on the bottom, the sleeve is all the way down, because if the sleeve's not all the way down to the bottom, they resurface this, put the head gasket on with a head, it'll push that sleeve down and about 15 seconds later it starts leaking and blowing compression across it. So make sure that sleeve is all the way down. Make sure it's seated on the bottom. And then, then resurface this. You can use a multi-layer steel gasket, copper gasket, whatever you like to use. And then you have the mid-sleeve design. So you ever hear the, the, the term mid-sleeve? That's what they're talking about. This is realistically what ends up needing to happen here. Uh, in my opinion, 
they don't do this in the typical ProMod, uh, typical, definitely not typical uh, nitromethane stuff. Uh, it is just, it's not the, in my opinion, just not the best way of doing it. Too much stuff, there's nothing here supporting all this and keeping it all together. And now that matters. So anyways, that's uh, the logist of what we have for sleeves, how they're put in. The, these mid sleeves have no press at all. The uh, only like a half thousandths press, just enough to make good surface contact on like the SMX or Pro Mod Hemis, Nitro cars, anything like that. That's why they're changing sleeves at the track, leave the block in the car, change the sleeve and piston rod assembly at the track. Uh, and then repair sleeves, which would be the majority of what you guys are working on. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna repair this. We'll put this other sleeve in. We'll machine these down. We'll then go in and machine the bore to size, deck it to size, and this thing will be plenty good for 1500 horsepower and below. But uh, I really don't even like using these uh, LSX blocks for over 1500 horsepower anyways, because eventually they just do seem to break. I think they're just a little thin up there. But anyways, I uh, hope that was good for you guys. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, tell your friends. Uh, if it's good information for you and teaching you something that you didn't know before, uh, this is the way we really do it. This is how it's done. And, uh, you know, share that with others and uh, get other people to subscribe. Anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Tech. Have a great day.